Hey, my name is Richie and I'm showing you how you can create a combination lock in Fortnite Creative. And before we start, I show you obviously what we are going to build. So as you can see, we have a starting button, which is this one over here. This is going to give us uh, three tries that we can use on these combinations. And we have to find out the right one. So our combination for this one is one, two, and three. So we have to just press one, then this one, then this one. And it's going to dis uh, disable this barrier right here. So we can try it out and we can press one, two, and three, and it says success, which is an extra. And we obviously can go in our very secret house and secure house. Okay, so now since this is a combination lock, obviously you can also put in the wrong combination. So if we start in our combination, so we go in and then maybe like press two, one, or three, and then, oh my God, it's disabled and our friendly neighbor Dan got alerted and, uh, killed us. Okay, so now that you guys know what you're getting yourself into, uh, I have to explain what is actually going on here. So we start off, we have four different uh, uh, buttons right here. These three, uh, these three uh, buttons are our uh, combination lock, if you want to say so. And this one is just our starting, uh, starting one. This is very important. If you want to create this specific type of combination lock, we need the starting sequence. Also, we need one, two, and three, and you can set them up to the channels one, two, and three, if you want to. Uh, we will discuss the rest uh, in a second. So, uh, so how this is working? Uh, we can set any channel to this one. It doesn't not really matter. So I uh, set it to whatever, I set it to 10. And what the first channel is going to do, it's going to activate this music sequencer. So this music sequencer gets activated by 10. And this music sequencer is going to activate our, um, our first uh, trigger, which is set to four. So very important, we need new channels for these uh, for these uh, new triggers. And what these triggers are, these are basically our combination that we set in. So um, we have one, two, and three right here, and we have uh, five, six, and seven. So um, very important that you set for each uh, button that we have one different channel. So how this is going to work is that these triggers are enabling and triggering themselves by pressing any of these buttons. So if I press one, then this this one is going to uh, enable this trigger right here. And if I press two, this trigger is going to enable this one right here. And if I press three, which is then the full combination, this one is going to uh, trigger this one, which then uh, disables the barrier. So this is the basic principle behind this. And how you can set them up is basically you want to disable all of them from the beginning. Uh, but this one, this one is very important because it basically starts your sequence and obviously this is our starting button. And how you want to set up these uh, three? Oh, you can add obviously more of them if you want to. Like you can make basically a full combination lock on how many triggers you want to spend on that. But it obviously gets a little bit more confusing over how many triggers you add. How you want to set them up and you basically set them up all the same. Uh, you want to disable them from the beginning you want to enable them by the next trigger you want to, uh, you know, have, you know, enable them to. So if I want to have one, two, and three, then I want to have the first one uh, getting enabled by the start. The second one is getting enabled by the first one. And the last one is enabled by the second one. So you're going to set that up like this in any of them. So for the disabled option, you can basically put everything in here, what you want. Obviously, if it's in your uh, combination lock. Uh, but what you cannot put in there is the trigger when receiving from a channel. You cannot put that in here because that would lead to problems and you don't want that. So put anything but the channel that is going to trigger this device. And obviously trigger when receiving is the button. So you, if this is our first uh, button, then you want to put one in here. Uh, you don't need that. And trigger when, uh, when triggered transmit on is very important. You need to add different triggers. I already said that in the beginning, I think. Uh, add different channels in here. Do not use one, two, and three in here or whatever you use on the buttons. And that is basically all you need to do. You basically have to repeat these type of steps uh, for every you know, lock that you want to add to your uh, combination lock. And then at the end, you want to have, uh, obviously send another uh, channel to something that is going to be disabled if you are uh, you know, going to have some kind of door or whatever you want to disable with that a combination lock or enable, depending on you, obviously. So, and then you want to set, uh, you know, this, basically you can leave that enabled and the only thing you need to add is trigger when receiving from 
and then you want to obviously set whatever you want to enable or disable in the last one. So our last one, we have our three tries or whatever, how many tries you want to add uh, sequence. And basically all you need to do is uh, set up the music sequencers to the buttons. So this is one, two and three. And uh, you want to add a, a trigger in the middle, which is going to activate only if it reaches a certain number of uh, tries or you know triggers, if you want to say so. Uh, so for mine, it's three. And uh, you know if this trigger gets triggered three times, this is going to send a uh, signal to these buttons, which are over here, obviously. And these are going to be disabled through that channel. And then you can repeat the process uh, by starting them again and you know. That is basically it. Leave a like, subscribe, or, or upvote on Reddit, and I will see you guys hopefully on my channel, and bye.